Well, it's exactly two years after the fatal Dana Flight 0992, the crash that claimed the lives of all passengers on board. Uh, the Accident Investigation Bureau on Tuesday, June the 3rd, released an updated interim report on the crash. A number of other things happened immediately after that crash. Some people did not only lose lives, they lost families, and they lost their property. Uh, our guest this morning is Mr. Daniel Omoni. Uh, he's a victim by virtue of the fact that his property was destroyed. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Uh, very, very quickly, tell us the chronology of events on that day, because some of us were at work and we thought it was a, it was a train crash in somewhere in Lagos, and then some people said they're not really sure, and then it turned out it was an aircraft that crashed into a building and destroyed virtually the whole street. Well, on that fateful day, precisely 3rd of June 2012, I was in church when I got the message, and uh, on getting home, I met everything I left back destroyed by the plane crash. I lost all, I lost four buildings to that crash. Four buildings? Four buildings How building. many properties do you have? I have within the premises a, a, a building, a duplex, two warehouses, and a bungalow at the back. Hmm. One of the warehouses was used for my furniture factory. Why the other one we used to warehouse goods for other companies? We lost all this to the to the crash, including the uh, four fish ponds. And what uh, is the estimate of this property? If you just just an estimate, please. Well, uh, as I then I was able to give the estimate to the public, but uh, as I talk to you now, because of the insensitivity of the Dana company, we have proceeded to court. So the matter is in court. That is why we're not, in, the, in terms of giving the statistics, okay. cash value, I'm aware it will not be right since I've presented my claims before the court. Okay. But I can tell you the things that were destroyed, but that's for the cost. Because all my claims have been put before the court because I strongly have confidence in the judiciary that that is the last hope 